Surf Church Sunday. <coughs> Excuse me, a little overcast. About in the 50s somewhere. Well, here's the plan. Put it. What do you call it? The uh, carbon fiber. One day this week, probably uh, Wednesday, maybe Thursday, I'm going to cut this scoop off right here. I mean the handle, I mean. And I'm going to keep this piece. I'm going to pull this piece out with a new gizmo I got. I'll show you the gizmo in a minute. Or I'm going to attempt to use it anyway. Uh, and put the new carbon fiber stava scoop handle in this stava scoop where it belongs to fit this pipe this morning I took my last remaining hickory handle and I put it in the uh, titanium scoop I sand down the I sanded all this slick stuff off in this area right here where I grip it you see where it starts right there and starts again right there. So I got her in action for today. The cave with the chain man. Going over chain man's house in about an hour and a half. He's ready. I got a, hold on a minute. Okay, I found the gizmos. These are uh, tree climbers. I guess hunters use them. They screw this into the tree. And he used this as a step. This one costs a dollar, under two dollars at Dick's. This is the same thing, just a bigger version. Costs two dollars and change. That's what one of my YouTube ladies says that she uses to get her handles off when they break. She cuts them off, or if they break off, she squares them off, drills this in there, and takes a hammer and beats them out, you know, this way. So that's what I'm going to try. See how it works. And I hid these for myself in my garage as uh, I do many things. As I was looking for them, I spied my new 3M earmuffs, the gel ear sealing rings that I couldn't find last week. So I have replaced that one. I've been using it for seven, eight days with, with the original one. So I got the new one on there today. So my right ear will be nice and tender and soft and quiet and no wind will get in. So I'm in pretty good shape. I got the battery charged and I got to stick that in there in the O-ring. And I'll be back in business within minutes for Surf Church Sunday. And on a side note, I just had a lady from Williams and Sonoma. She said she had an irate customer. She thought that, that when you bought a global knife from Williams and Sonoma, they sharpened it for free forever. Of course, that ain't going to happen. Anyway, I got a global, nice global. This is identical to the one I did yesterday. She's dull. She won't cut hardly cut, cut hot butter. But I don't see any microchips. The one I had yesterday was loaded with microchips. This is one of the very few that I've seen it doesn't have any. I see one. That's about all I see. Okay. Standing by for Surf Church. Danny's walking in. I'm putting my gear on. That's the real guru's car there. The lady just came by and says, more treasure hunters? She said there's more treasure hunters down there I've ever seen in my life today. So I don't know who's down there. I said, how many is down there? She says, three or four, easy. Stand by, the cave. Well, I see the guru. I see maybe Thomas. No out of bar yet. But like I said, the tide ain't going to be low for three hours. Oh, I think that's a big man. Stand by.
we'll see how it goes. Well, the first target is a nice old looking earring. I like it. I got the titanium today with a new wooden handling, which I think I already showed you. Well, I got four scoops off of this. I don't know what it is, but it sounds good. I'm a hunt. It says it's a 1229. I got long, long tones on. And we got, oh, I see it already down there. Look, you see it? That piece of crap. Look at that. I'm not sure what this is, if it's a battery, but I guess I'll find out when I knock the ends of it off. That ain't good. Looks like a penny to me. Stand by. That's two gurus at once. You can't see them, they're all lined up in a row. Gurus. <laughs> the real guru and the Kenny guru. Kenny's got green on, there he comes around the corner, you see him? Guru's got yellow on. A gathering, surf church congregation. The guy in the green jacket that I thought was the guru it's not the guru, it's uh, Glenn. It's Bobby's brother. I thought it was a guru. Look at this thing I just dug up. I don't know if it's a penny in there or a nickel. It looks like it might be a, a nickel by the way, the, the thickness of it. I don't know. Stand by. The guy on the end is uh, the big guy's brother. Prisoners. Prisoners for Surf Church. That's right. Well, I finally made it on this side of the cave. You can see the tire's not going to get off too good today. It's just barely starting to dry off off that way. We'll slip our heads. Check this out. Then we'll get ready to go, I think. The sun's getting ready to leave us. Hello, Edmond! Come out of there for Surf Church. Stand by. Well, I dug in a lot of rocks yesterday. I don't see any scratches or bends on this side. You can see there's a long scratch right there. Just a scratch though. She did okay. Well, we're getting ready for the Surf Church Roundup. I guess we got to crack this and see if there's anything else in there. There's a lot of what's it's. There's that one there. We know it's got a. And the hell is it? There it is. Some kind of coin in it. Penny, I think. I thought it was a nickel, but after looking at it, I think it's a penny. Stand by. All right, let's see what we got in these things right here. Well, the run on the right had some kind of weird looking thing in it. I don't know what it is. The biggest one was the most interesting one. It had the penny, which I presume was a penny, and it had a big nut in it. 
and probably some little crap. And the other one was a battery. And the other two were just iron. Now, oh, now well, the one that had to what we thought was a nickel is a penny too, so we got two pennies and a nut out of all that stuff. Okay, stand by. <coughs> Gives a bleak surf church spin on the bay today for me. Now some of the other guys did okay. <coughs> it was two junk rings found, I think. <coughs> One guy found uh, three or four pieces of silver, and the other one found five or six pieces of silver. Coins, I mean. One thing I got is a wheat penny. And that old earring. The two what's-its had pennies in them. One of them's a 62 mint mark D. No, this one, 62. The other one is toast. You can't tell what it is. I'm not sure about today. Monday. Tide's going to be right at dark. We might go for an hour or two. Three-ish or so. I'll see how the chain man's making out. I'm getting back to you. Stand by. Good luck to you. I got uh, beaver stuff and uh, chain man stuff at the end of the video. Jay man did find a mercury dime and I can't remember what else and Beaver Beaver worked about three miles west of us he found a lot of stuff but I don't think he found I'm trying to think what he said he found some kind of jewelry thing but you'll see the pictures of it I just can't remember now what he sent me we never did hear from the guru in three days I have to call him and see what he's doing okay I'll see you tomorrow. I mean, later today.